Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from our channel, Who Died Today America. In this video we'll be highlighting American celebrities who have passed away in the last few days, along with other notable figures from around the world. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Now let's begin. Huckleberry Fox, former child actor best known for his poignant portrayal of Deborah Winger's son in the Oscar-winning film Terms of Endearment, passed away at the age of 50. His death was confirmed by Potter Funeral Service in Massachusetts. Born George Miller Fox, he captured hearts with his unforgettable performance in Terms of Endearment, 1983, where his tearful goodbye to his dying mother became one of the most emotional scenes in cinema history. His talent and sensitivity on screen earned him critical acclaim and led to roles in other films, including Misunderstood, American Dreamer, Conrad, and The Blue Yonder. Despite his success in Hollywood, Fox chose a different path later in life, leaving acting behind to pursue a career dedicated to science and public service. After graduating from Northfield Mount Hermon School, Fox attended New York University and later earned a master's degree in animal science from Cornell University. He continued his academic journey at the University of Florida, where he received a doctorate in plant medicine. His passion for scientific research and sustainable agriculture led him to a distinguished career as a scientist and diplomat for the United States Department of Agriculture, where he worked to advance agricultural practices and policies on a national and international level. Fox's legacy extends beyond his work in Hollywood and science. Known for his intelligence, humility, and dedication, he touched the lives of those around him with his genuine kindness and unwavering commitment to making a difference in the world. His life is a testament to the power of reinvention and the pursuit of meaningful contributions in diverse fields. Huckleberry Fox is survived by his wife, Mercy, their two sons, his five siblings, and his parents. While his time on screen was brief, his impact was profound, and his work in agriculture and science will continue to benefit future generations. He will be remembered for his extraordinary journey and the lives he touched along the way. Darren Kent, the gifted actor celebrated for his roles in Game of Thrones and Dungeons and & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, passed away at the age of 39. Surrounded by family and close friends, Kent left this world with his indomitable spirit and love of life intact, as confirmed by his talent agency, Carrie Dodd Associates. Though the cause of his passing was not disclosed, Kent courageously battled a rare skin disorder, osteoporosis and arthritis throughout his career, inspiring all who knew him with his resilience and warmth. Born and raised in Essex, Kent embarked on his acting journey with a 2004 appearance in the British comedy Shameless and later in the 2008 horror film Mirrors. His breakout moment came in 2014 when he portrayed a grieving goat herd in the season four finale of Game of Thrones. In a heart-wrenching scene, Kent's character presented Daenerys Targaryen, played by Amelia Clarke, with the remains of his child, a victim of her dragon's wrath. This brief but impactful performance showcased his remarkable ability to convey deep emotion. Kent's talent extended beyond the small screen. He appeared in EastEnders and the 2018-19 limited series Les Miserables. More recently, he brought humor to Dungeons & Dragons, honor among thieves in a comedic scene as a reanimated corpse alongside Chris Pine, earning admiration from audiences and director Jonathan Goldstein who described Kent as a sweet, talented, funny actor gone too soon. In addition to acting, Kent explored filmmaking, graduating from the Italia Conti Stage School in 2007. He directed an episode of the BBC series The Break in 2021 and the short film You Know Me, which won Best Director and Best Short at the London International Monthly Film Festival earlier this year. Darren Kent will be remembered not only for his remarkable artistry, but also for his generosity and enduring positivity. 
He leaves behind a legacy of perseverance, inspiration, and an everlasting impact on both his craft and those fortunate enough to know him. Bela Karolyi, the legendary gymnastics coach who revolutionized the sport and guided athletes like Nadia Comaneci and Mary Lou Retton to global glory, passed away at the age of 82. His death, confirmed by USA Gymnastics, marks the end of an era that saw transformative success as well as significant controversy in the world of competitive gymnastics. Born on September 13, 1942, in Cluj, Romania, now part of Hungary, Karoli's path to coaching began modestly, teaching gymnastics in a small mining town. Alongside his wife Martha, he eventually built a program that shaped young gymnasts into world champions, including Komaneci, who achieved the first perfect 10 in Olympic history at the 1976 Montreal Games. The Karolyidis methods, emphasizing discipline and innovation, changed the landscape of gymnastics, leading to Romania's rise as a powerhouse before their defection to the U.S. in 1981. In the United States, Karolyi continued his trailblazing work, coaching Mary Lou Retton to win the first-ever Olympic all-around gold for an American woman at the 1984 Los Angeles Games. His iconic bear hug with Carrie Strug after her heroic vault on an injured ankle during the 1996 Atlanta Olympics became one of the sport's most enduring images. However, Caroli's career was also marked by criticism of his coaching methods, which some athletes described as harsh and unrelenting. His name became entangled in the aftermath of the Larry Nassar scandal, with many pointing to a culture of fear and neglect under his leadership that allowed Nassar's crimes to persist. While Karolyi and his wife denied knowledge of Nassar's actions, the allegations tarnished their once unassailable legacy. Despite the controversies, Karolyi's impact on gymnastics is undeniable. He helped establish the U.S. as the dominant force in the sport, introducing centralized training camps and a rigorous system that continues to produce champions. His athletes, while divided in their opinions of him, acknowledged the role he played in shaping their careers and the sport at large. Bela Karolyi is survived by his wife, Martha, their daughter, Andrea, and a legacy that will be debated and remembered for generations. John Robinson, who passed away at the age of 89 from complications of pneumonia, was a towering figure in football, achieving remarkable success in both college and professional ranks. Known for his transformative coaching style, Robinson left an indelible mark on the sport during his illustrious career. Born on July 25, 1935, in Chicago and raised in the Bay Area, Robinson began his football journey as a player at the University of Oregon, where he was part of the 1958 Rose Bowl championship team. He transitioned into coaching with his alma mater, eventually becoming an offensive coordinator for USC under John McKay. There, he helped guide the Trojans to two national titles in 1972 and 1974 setting the stage for his future as one of college football's great head coaches. As USC's head coach from 1976 to 1982 and again from 1993 to 1997, Robinson amassed a 104 and 35 and 4 record, five conference titles, and four Rose Bowl victories. Under his leadership, iconic players like Marcus Allen and Charles White won the Heisman Trophy and stars like Ronnie Lott and Anthony Munoz emerged as legends. His coaching emphasized relentless rushing offenses, discipline, and fostering player growth beyond the gridiron. Robinson's professional tenure with the Los Angeles Rams from 1983 to 1991 further cemented his legacy. Leading the team to six playoff appearances and two NFC Championship games, he became the Rams' winningest coach during his tenure. His success was driven by a potent offense led by Eric Dickerson and a resilient team spirit. Later, Robinson revitalized the UNLV football program, bringing the Rebels to rare postseason success. In his later years, he served as a consultant at LSU, contributing his wisdom to the sport he loved. 
Remembered as a compassionate mentor with an unparalleled ability to connect with his players, Robinson influenced countless lives on and off the field. He is survived by his wife, Beverly, their children, stepchildren, and grandchildren, leaving behind a legacy that celebrates excellence, humanity, and the enduring spirit of the game. Taylor Rousseau, Grigg, who passed away at the young age of 25, leaves behind a legacy of resilience, faith, and love that touched countless lives. Her sudden and unexpected passing was confirmed by her husband, Cameron Grigg, in an emotional tribute, highlighting her bravery and the joy she brought to others despite enduring immense health challenges. Born with a spirit that radiated warmth and positivity, Taylor captivated a large audience of over 1.4 million followers on TikTok. Through her platform, she shared glimpses of her life, candidly speaking about her battles with chronic health issues. In one heartfelt video, she admitted, I feel like I'm fighting for life every day, a sentiment that resonated deeply with her community. Though she chose to keep her exact diagnosis private, Taylor's vulnerability and courage inspired many facing similar struggles. Taylor's strength shone brightest in her faith and determination to find joy amid adversity. Her husband described her as a light who always brought happiness to those around her. Even as her health challenges intensified, Taylor's focus remained on helping others. In a final act of generosity, she became an organ donor, ensuring her legacy would extend beyond her life, saving and improving the lives of others. Her followers fondly remember her authenticity, whether celebrating her 25th birthday with her husband or reflecting on the difficulties of her journey. Taylor's openness about her struggles created a sense of community and support among her fans who admired her tenacity and strength. Taylor is survived by her devoted husband, Cameron, who shared their journey with love and unwavering support. As her family prepares to celebrate her life, they ask for privacy and have launched a GoFundMe campaign to assist with medical and memorial expenses. Taylor's story is a reminder of the power of resilience, the importance of love, and the enduring impact of sharing one's truth. She will be remembered not only as a social media star, but as a beacon of hope and compassion, whose memory will live on in the hearts of those she touched. Frank Fritz, who passed away at the age of 60, will be remembered as the heart and soul of American Pickers, a History Channel staple that celebrated the hidden treasures of Americana. Fritz's passing was confirmed by his longtime friend and co-star Mike Wolf, who shared heartfelt memories of their adventures and the impact Fritz had on those who knew him. Born with an innate curiosity and a passion for collecting, Fritz carved a unique niche in the world of antiques. Alongside Wolf, he scoured the U.S. for rare artifacts, vintage motorcycles, and historical memorabilia. The dynamic duo captivated audiences for over a decade with their camaraderie and shared love for history. Fritz's warm personality, sharp wit, and unmatched expertise made him an irreplaceable presence on the show. Fritz's life was shaped by his early interests in motorcycles and collectibles, a proud motorcycle enthusiast, he purchased his first Harley-Davidson during high school and remained deeply connected to the culture throughout his life. His dedication to the craft earned him an induction into the Sturgis Motorcycle Museum Hall of Fame in 2019, an honor he cherished. Off-screen, Fritz faced health challenges, including Crohn's disease and back surgery, yet he remained a resilient figure. In 2022, he suffered a stroke, which marked a difficult chapter in his life. Despite past tensions, Fritz and Wolf reunited in 2023, rekindling their friendship and sharing heartfelt moments that underscored the depth of their bond. Fritz also left his mark in his hometown of Savannah, Illinois, where he operated Frank Fritz Finds, a beloved antiques store. Friends, family, and fans remember him as a kind soul with a profound love for life and an encyclopedic knowledge of antiques. Frank Fritz's legacy is one of discovery, friendship, and a celebration of history's overlooked treasures. 
His influence on collectors and fans of Americana will continue to inspire. He is survived by a loving community of family, friends, and admirers who will deeply miss his charm, humor, and indomitable spirit. Timothy West, who passed away at the age of 90, leaves behind a legacy as one of Britain's most beloved actors, both on stage and screen. Renowned for his compelling performances in productions ranging from Shakespearean classics like Macbeth and King Lear to his memorable television roles in EastEnders, Coronation Street, and Brass, West's career spanned decades and touched countless lives. Born on October 20, 1934, in Bradford, England, Timothy Lancaster West began his acting journey in the theater, where his commanding presence and exceptional talent quickly earned him acclaim. A fixture of British theater, he brought gravitas and emotional depth to roles in some of the most demanding works of the canon. His performances were a masterclass in the craft, earning him a reputation as a pillar of British acting. West was equally celebrated on television, where his versatility shone through in a variety of roles. From his time on the Channel 4 series Great Canal Journeys, where he explored Britain's waterways alongside his wife, the iconic actress Prunella Scales, to his touching performances in dramas and soap operas, West connected deeply with audiences. His on-screen charm and authenticity resonated far and wide. Outside of acting, West was known for his enduring marriage to Scales, a partnership that spanned over six decades. Together, they became a symbol of love and commitment, both on and off the screen, as they shared their journey navigating Scales' dementia with bravery and grace. West's contributions extended beyond performance. He mentored younger actors, supported British arts, and maintained a lifelong passion for storytelling. His children, including actor Samuel West, have continued his artistic legacy. Timothy West passed away peacefully, surrounded by family, leaving behind a profound impact on theater, television, and the hearts of those who admired him. He is survived by his wife Prunella, their children Juliet, Samuel, and Joseph, and a loving extended family. His artistry and spirit will continue to inspire future generations of actors and audiences alike. Judith Jameson, who passed away at the age of 81 after a brief illness, was a transcendent figure in dance and an enduring symbol of artistic excellence. Renowned as a principal dancer and later as the long-serving artistic director of the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, Jameson's legacy is one of boundless creativity, dedication, and humanity. Born on May 10, 1943, in Philadelphia, Jameson began her dance training at the age of six at the Judamar School of Dance. Her prodigious talent was evident early on, and in 1965 she joined the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. Over her 15 years as a performer with the company, she became one of its most celebrated stars, captivating audiences with her electrifying presence and extraordinary versatility. Works like Cry, a 16-minute solo choreographed by Ailey as a tribute to black women, cemented her status as a trailblazing artist. After leaving the company to pursue other opportunities, including Broadway and collaborations with ballet companies, Jameson returned in 1989 to succeed Alvin Ailey as the company's artistic director. For two decades, she guided the company with vision and grace, ensuring its continued prominence on the world stage. Her leadership not only preserved Ailey's legacy, but expanded the repertoire to include works by a diverse range of choreographers. Jameson's impact extended beyond performance. She was a mentor, an advocate for inclusivity in the arts, and an ambassador for the transformative power of dance. Her autobiography, Dancing Spirit, chronicles her remarkable journey and the indomitable spirit that defined her life and work. She remained active in the arts even after stepping down as artistic director, celebrating the company's milestones and inspiring generations of dancers and audiences alike. Judith Jameson passed away in New York, surrounded by close friends. She is remembered for her unparalleled artistry, her compassionate leadership, 
and her luminous presence. Her contributions to the world of dance will continue to inspire and uplift for generations to come. Jack Jones, who passed away at the age of 86 following a two-year battle with leukemia, leaves behind a legacy of timeless music and unforgettable performances that spanned seven decades. A Grammy-winning crooner, Jones was renowned for his smooth voice and hits such as Lollipops and Roses, Wives and Lovers, and The Impossible Dream. He also became a pop culture icon as the voice of the Love Boat theme song, a melody that still evokes a sense of romance and adventure. Born John Allen Jones on January 14, 1938 in Los Angeles, Jones grew up immersed in a world of entertainment. The son of actor and singer Alan Jones and actress Irene Hervey, his musical talent was evident early on. His career took off in 1962 with his Grammy-winning hit Lollipops and Roses, establishing him as an heir to the legacy of performers like Frank Sinatra. He would go on to win another Grammy in 1964 for Wives and Lovers, solidifying his status as a leading voice in the era of romantic ballads. Jones was not only a mainstay on the charts, but also in Las Vegas, where he headlined for decades. His velvety tones graced soundtracks for films like Good Morning, Vietnam, and American Hustle, as well as the iconic Mad Men. Despite changing times, his music remained a touchstone of classic American pop. Beyond his music, Jones was known for his charm and wit, even embracing the humor surrounding his hits, as seen in a cameo in Airplane 2, the sequel. A dedicated performer, he released over 50 albums and continued to perform into his 80s. Jack Jones is survived by his wife, Eleonora, his daughters Crystal and Nicole, stepdaughters Nicole and Colette, grandchildren, and his beloved poodle, Ivy. His legacy endures in the countless hearts he touched through his music and his dedication to bringing joy and depth to every song he sang. Frankie Beverly, the iconic frontman of the soul band Maze, has passed away at the age of 77. Known for his silky baritone voice and timeless hits, Beverly became a cornerstone of R&B and soul music, crafting a legacy that spans decades. His family announced his passing, but did not disclose a cause of death. Born Howard Stanley Beverly on December 6, 1946 in Philadelphia, his musical journey began in the church choir before evolving into a career that defined the sound of soul and funk. As the lead singer, writer, and producer for Mays, Beverly gave the world classics like Before I Let Go, Back in Stride, and Can't Get Over You. These songs became anthems, their rhythms echoing through family gatherings, barbecues, and celebrations across generations. Beverly's influence extended far beyond the charts. Maze's music, deeply rooted in emotion and groove, captured the essence of love, perseverance, and community. Their live performances were legendary, and the band became a must-see act, delivering heartfelt shows that connected deeply with fans. His 1981 hit, Before I Let Go, was immortalized yet again when Beyonce covered it in 2019, cementing its place as a cultural touchstone. In 2024, Beverly was honored at the Essence Festival, a fitting tribute to a man whose music had shaped the lives of so many. Earlier that year, he embarked on a farewell tour, giving fans one last chance to experience the magic he brought to the stage. His artistry remained as vibrant as ever, a testament to his enduring dedication to his craft. Frankie Beverly is survived by his family and the countless fans whose lives he touched through his music. His songs, a blend of joy and soulful introspection, will continue to resonate, ensuring that his legacy remains alive in the hearts of listeners worldwide. Frankie Beverly truly lived for his music and his voice will forever echo in the soul of R&B. Terry Garr, who passed away at the age of 79, was a celebrated actress and dancer whose wit and charm graced some of the most iconic films and television shows of the 1970s through the 1990s. 
Her death was attributed to complications from a long battle with multiple sclerosis, a diagnosis she revealed in 2002. She also suffered a brain aneurysm in 2006, further exemplifying her resilience and strength. Born in Ohio on December 11, 1944, Terry Ann Garr began her career as a dancer, appearing in several Elvis Presley films during the 1960s before transitioning into acting. Her big break came with Mel Brooks' Young Frankenstein, 1974, where her portrayal of Inga, the quirky assistant with a penchant for hilariously suggestive banter, became unforgettable. Gar cemented her legacy as a comedic powerhouse with an Academy Award nomination for her role as Sandy Lester, the insecure actress friend of Dustin Hoffman's character in Tootsie, 1982. Throughout her career, Gar was a go-to actress for directors like Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, and Francis Ford Coppola. She brought depth and relatability to roles such as The Frustrated Wife in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, and The Working Mother in Mr. Mom, 1983. She also displayed her versatility in films like The Conversation and After Hours. On television, she made memorable appearances on Friends, M.A.S.H., The Sonny and Cher Show, and Saturday Night Live, showcasing her comedic timing and charm. Gar's career slowed in the late 1990s as she faced health challenges, but she remained a fierce advocate for disability awareness and a voice for women in Hollywood. Her candid reflections on sexism and inequality in the entertainment industry were as impactful as her performances. Terry Gar leaves behind her daughter, Molly O'Neill, and grandson Tyron. Her legacy of humor, resilience, and brilliance on screen continues to inspire fans and fellow performers alike. She will forever be remembered as a trailblazer who made audiences laugh and think with equal intensity. David Harris, who passed away at the age of 75 after a battle with cancer, was a versatile actor best known for his memorable role as Cochise in the cult classic The Warriors. His charismatic performance in Walter Hill's 1979 film solidified his place in pop culture captivating audiences with his portrayal of the loyal and sharp gang member in a story about survival and camaraderie amid chaos. Born on June 18, 1949 in New York City, Harris developed his passion for acting early, attending Manhattan's prestigious High School of Performing Arts. He made his screen debut in the 1976 TV movie Judge Horton and the Scottsboro Boys, and quickly became a recognizable face in both film and television. His breakout role in The Warriors remains iconic, with fans worldwide continuing to celebrate his performance decades after the film's release. Harris himself marveled at the enduring legacy of the movie, which turned into a touchstone for urban storytelling and youth culture. Beyond The Warriors, Harris amassed over 50 acting credits in a career spanning nearly five decades. He appeared in critically acclaimed films like Brubaker, 1980, and Fatal Beauty, 1987, and was a steady presence on television, with roles in popular shows such as MacGyver, Hill Street Blues, Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, and Elementary. His dedication to his craft and ability to bring depth to every character he played earned him widespread respect in the industry. Harris was not only an actor, but also a source of warmth and generosity, as remembered by his agency of over 40 years, Henderson Hogan. His legacy extends beyond the screen, touching the lives of colleagues, friends, and fans. He is survived by his daughter, Davina Harris, his mother, three siblings, and two grandchildren. David Harris's talent, spirit, and contribution to cinema and television will forever be cherished. He leaves behind a legacy of remarkable performances that continue to inspire and entertain. Sarah Dancer, who passed away at the age of 34 following a car crash, was a spirited adventurer and reality television star who captivated audiences with her tenacity and zest for life. Known for her appearances on Naked and Afraid, 
Sarah demonstrated remarkable resilience and a love for the natural world that made her a beloved figure among fans and peers alike. Born in Castle Rock, Colorado, Sarah relocated to Hawaii, where she embraced a life of adventure and exploration. A certified boat captain, scuba diver, and survivalist, she lived aboard a boat at Kiwalo Basin, allowing her to travel freely and pursue her passion for the ocean. Her vibrant Instagram posts, including her final upload of a smiling selfie on a boat, reflected her infectious joy and adventurous spirit. Sarah's time on Naked and Afraid showcased her extraordinary survival skills and unwavering positivity. Fellow contestant Melissa Lauren described her as one of the most adventurous souls, applauding her resilience not only as a survivalist, but also as a breast cancer survivor who inspired others with her strength and optimism. Her love for the ocean, nature, and exploration earned her the nickname Modern Day Pirate, a testament to her boundless curiosity and awe for the world around her. Tragically, Sarah was critically injured in a car accident in Kahala, Hawaii, and passed away two days later. Her untimely death has left her family, friends, and fans mourning the loss of a vibrant and courageous individual who brought light and energy to everyone she met. Her brother, Jake Dancer, described her as magical, with a positive energy that filled every space she entered. Her colleagues at Island Divers Hawaii remembered her as a great captain and friend, leaving a legacy of warmth and enthusiasm. Sarah Dancer's adventurous spirit, resilience, and love for life will be deeply missed, but her memory will live on as an inspiration to embrace life's wonders with open arms. John LaSalle, the seasoned actor renowned for his roles in Dark Shadows and The Twilight Zone, passed away at the age of 95. His family announced his passing, marking the end of a long and diverse career that left an indelible mark on television history. Born on November 6, 1928, John Whiten LaSalle Jr. began his acting journey on the stage, including a role as a fire control officer in the Broadway production of Roman Candle in 1960. Transitioning to television, LaSalle became a familiar face to audiences during the 1960s and 1970s, contributing memorable performances across a variety of genres. LaSalle gained significant recognition for his portrayal of Dr. Peter Guthrie, a vampire hunter, on the cult classic soap opera Dark Shadows. The series, with its gothic allure and supernatural twists, captured the imagination of a devoted teenage audience and LaSalle's character became a pivotal part of its eerie narrative. His talent extended beyond the world of gothic drama. On The Twilight Zone, LaSalle delivered a compelling performance as John Wilkes Booth in a 1961 episode, showcasing his range as an actor. He also graced the screens in popular series such as Wagon Train, Route 66, Flipper, Perry Mason, and Mission Impossible. Later in his career, he appeared in episodes of Dallas and Night Gallery, with his final credits recorded in 1985. Throughout his career, LaSalle brought depth and charisma to his roles, earning admiration from both his peers and viewers. After retiring from Hollywood more than 40 years ago, he left behind a legacy of versatile performances that continue to resonate with fans of classic television. John LaSalle was married three times, including to actress Patricia Smith. While his on-screen presence has faded, his contributions to television remain timeless, cementing his place as a treasured figure in entertainment history. He will be fondly remembered and deeply missed. Breaking news of the day. News one. Willie Nelson, the 91-year-old country music icon, has triumphantly returned to performing after a brief health-related hiatus. Fans were thrilled to see the legendary artist take the stage on the 4th of July for his annual 4th of July picnic event at Freedom Mortgage Pavilion in Camden, New Jersey. The star-studded event featured performances by Mavis Staples, Marin Morris, Bob Dylan, and others, with Nelson's appearance as the highlight. Two weeks earlier, 
Concerns were raised when Nelson's team shared that he was not feeling well, prompting doctors to advise rest. During his brief absence, his band, family, and special guests, including his son, Lucas Nelson, kept the music alive at Outlaw Roadshow performances. Nelson's return has been met with widespread celebration from fans and fellow musicians alike. On Instagram, Margot Price cheered, We must protect Willie at all costs, echoing the sentiment of many. This comeback also coincides with Nelson's ongoing Outlaw Music Festival tour, which features an impressive lineup of artists such as Bob Dylan, Alison Krauss, and John Mellencamp. In addition to touring, Nelson's musical legacy continues to grow. His 152nd album, The Border, was released in May 2024 and features collaborations with renowned songwriters and musicians. The album's lead single, a rendition of Rodney Crowell's The Border, reflects Nelson's timeless storytelling. Willie Nelson's resilience and enduring passion for music remind fans that he truly embodies the spirit of being on the road again. News 2. Ben Affleck was all smiles during his recent appearance at CNBC's Delivering Alpha conference in New York City, leaving fans pleasantly surprised by his upbeat demeanor. The actor, producer, and entrepreneur spoke passionately about his startup, Artists' Equity, a venture he co-founded with longtime collaborator Matt Damon and investor Jerry Cardinale. The company aims to revolutionize how production teams and talent are compensated in the entertainment industry, a mission Affleck described as deeply rewarding. This rare display of cheer from Affleck has caught attention, given his reputation for often appearing reserved in public. Addressing the misconception, he joked, I'm a little shy. That's why people see me and think, why does this guy always look mad? It's just me reacting to someone putting a camera in my face. Fans noted the stark contrast in his energy, with many celebrating his evident happiness. Affleck's candidness and enthusiasm at the conference, coupled with his willingness to discuss his entrepreneurial vision, offered a refreshing glimpse into his personal growth and professional ambitions. As speculation about his life continues to swirl, one thing is clear. Affleck is focusing on building meaningful projects and finding joy along the way, inspiring fans to see a different side of him. News 3. Cher is alive and well, despite a viral rumor that circulated on social media claiming otherwise. Over the weekend, an anonymous Facebook post falsely reported that the iconic singer and actress had passed away, leading to widespread speculation and concern among fans. However, Cher herself quickly took to social media to set the record straight, assuring her followers that she is alive and in good health. Her spokesperson also released a statement addressing the hoax, saying, These rumors are completely false. Cher is doing well and remains as vibrant as ever. We ask that people refrain from sharing misinformation. Fans expressed relief and joy upon hearing the confirmation, flooding her social media with supportive messages and declarations of love. Cher responded with humor and grace, tweeting, Well, rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Again, love you all, but I'm not going anywhere yet. This isn't the first time Cher has been the subject of such rumors, but the legendary performer continues to defy expectations with her enduring energy and iconic presence. Fans are now rallying behind her, encouraging everyone to fact-check before sharing unverified news. Cher's latest message to her fans? Keep dancing, keep smiling, 